In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 18, it says, All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. As you pull the resistance band towards you with one arm, remember that God is pulling you towards himself through faith in Jesus Christ. Just as you're drawing the band close to your heart, may you draw near to God, embracing his love and reconciliation. And just as you switch arms to balance and strengthen both sides, may you share the message of reconciliation with others, balancing your life with the word of God. I'm Raman Hunter. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the seated resistance band unilateral low rows. Or the seated resistance band single arm low rows. Whichever one you want to call it, same thing. Now this is similar to the previous video that I had shown from before about the seated resistance band low rows. It works the same muscle, the latissimus dorsum muscle. However, we're just using one hand at a time, which gives a little bit more, which adds a little bit more of a dynamic stabilization component to this exercise that also helps to target your core muscles, your core, all right? Because as you pull with one arm, the resistance band is going to be pulling you in this direction. It's going to try and shift you out of position to twist and rotate your body, okay? However, you must brace your core, keep your body nice and upright, and resist that rotatory force. Resist that pull, thus strengthening the core muscles around the spine so that while performing other activities throughout the course of the day that will involve some amount of um, rotator forces going through the spine, those, core, those muscles would have been properly primed and, and prepared to really stabilize the spine during those movements of rotation. All right? So that's what we call it, dynamic stabilization. There is movement occurring, but at, at the same time, those muscles would have been prepared with this exercise to stabilize the spine during certain movements. Okay? That occurs secondary. Okay? But the primary function, the primary purpose of this exercise is to really strengthen your lats. Okay? And we're just using one hand. You also help, it also helps to strengthen the biceps because you're pulling. So any pulling type action, any pulling type activity involves the biceps. And indirectly, you also get to strengthen the biceps, the shoulders, but more specifically, your latissimus dorsi muscle. Okay? Now, this exercise can be done anywhere. It can be done by anybody. It's good for all ages. It can be done in the park. It can be done in the gym. It can be done at home. Anywhere. As long as you have like a resistance band, you have a... Uh, um, a resistance tube, you have a large resistance loop. Uh, if it is that you have access to a cable pulley system or a cable pulley machine uh, or a cam machine, this exercise can be used uh, with any of those pieces of equipment as well. Okay, now if it is that you have any medical conditions pertaining to the shoulder or the back and while performing this exercise um, you have increasing pain and stop from performing this exercise. If it is uh, that you're not sure about the use of this exercise for some specific medical condition that you probably would have had, then I would strongly suggest that you seek medical advice and counsel first from the physiotherapist before performing this exercise. But this is a good rehabilitative exercise. It can be used um, in the rehabilitative setting as well, in addition, in addition to also the average population. Okay, so whether therapeutic or just for overall uh, fitness purposes, this exercise is a wonderful exercise to add to your program. Now, the starting position of this exercise is I'm in a seated position. You can be seated in a stool, you can use a chair, you can use a bench. Uh, make sure that shoulders are back, the head is in a neutral position, the core is nice and tight, shoulders back and down, the hips 90 degrees, knees about 90 degrees or so, and make sure that the feet are flat on the floor. You shouldn't be resting back on the backrest. If the seat or whatever surface that you're sitting on has a backrest, try not to rest on the backrest. If it is that your back is weak and you feel like a burning sensation through the back because you have been sitting up for a prolonged period of time, which is normal, it's just that the muscles, the postural muscles are a bit fatigued, then you can rest them back for a little bit. You can use a backrest. But make sure if you're using a backrest, you're sitting straight back into the chair and it's keeping you in an upright position, all right? You shouldn't be slouching and it shouldn't have any space right there. It shouldn't be slouching down like this and allowing your back to curl, okay? Try and sit nice and upright. 
If it is that your back needs some support, then sit back into the chair so that the backrest supports you properly. Okay? Now, ideally, I would strongly recommend that you sit upright because it really helps to strengthen those postural muscles, which is really important. It is really good. It helps to provide further stability and support for your spine, helping to reduce lower back pain and back issues later on in the future and the risk of injury of your back. Okay? So if you can, if possible, I would strongly advise you to sit upright, maintain that position while performing this exercise. Now I'm holding both ends of the resistance band. I'm holding both ends of the resistance band. You're holding it, you're holding it in one hand. And what you're doing is just driving the elbow back. Allow the elbow to lead as you drive the elbow back at the level of your stomach. All right? So keep it to the level of your stomach, driving the elbow back. You can stop where the wrist meets your stomach, where the wrist is at the level of your stomach, and release it slowly. So don't be rocking back and forth with your body. Don't be pulling with your body. Don't be pulling with your biceps like this, or with your arm like this. Don't be pulling it like that. And don't be rocking your body like this, and don't be pulling it down like that. What I want you to do is try and keep your forearm parallel to the floor, as you drive the elbow back and behind you. Drive the elbow back and behind you. Regulate the breathing. Keep your chest up, shoulders back and down. Head in a neutral position, feet flat on the floor, and your core is braced, and you're pulling back. You can do a couple reps, a couple of sets of this exercise. You can do it according to timing. You can hold it in this position for a little bit, and then you switch to the next hand and perform the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, the seated resistance band, unilateral or single hand, low rows. If you want to turn the palm up, that's fine. If you want to turn the palm down, that's okay. Right now, my palm, my hand, my grip is in a neutral position. And I'm pulling back. It's a wonderful exercise to add to your program. You know, give it a try, test it out, see how it feels. If it is that you're tired of doing both hands at the same time, just do one hand at the same time if you want to further challenge your core muscles because it's going to actually be pulling you out of position. So try and resist that pull for it to pull you out of position. If it is that you find yourself being pulled out of position, your muscles are being fatigued and you find yourself breaking far more technique, then take a break, rest for a little bit, for about a couple of seconds, and then continue the exercise, okay? It's a wonderful exercise to add to your program. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Roman Hunter. Have a wonderful day. Blessings.